sweets. All those wonderful Willy Wonka treats. You can keep the others, cause me, I'm a Wonker. When it comes to candy, Willy's the Conqueror. Conqueror.
cunning, but most importantly of all, honest. How to find some of these traits? I've got an idea, but not now. First, we've got a story to tell. <laughs> These two very old people right here are the father and mother of Mr. Bucket. And these two very old people are the father and mother of Mrs. Bucket. Right over there is Mr. Bucket, and next to him is Mrs. Bucket. And next to them is their only daughter, Charlie Bucket. Here you go, Grandpa Joe. Cabbage soup. Every day, nothing but cabbage soup. But cheer me up, Charlie. Tell me, what's the chocolate news? Blanca's got a new bar out. Mallow, with flavor shifters. Flavor shifters? My. Papa, what's the latest cap count? 1,479,738 perfectly installed toothpaste packs, Charlie. Do you think I might work in the toothpaste factory one day? Let's hope not. What kind of positive thinking is that? Charlie's going to end up working for Mr. Walker Bar. Walker making chocolate bars, just like I did. Now, see here, it's coming from a distinguished line of candy bin. Candy. Now, Wonka hasn't hired anyone since his leopard spy so his candy bin was rescued. Oh, Wonka was so angry. He gathered up all his workers and said, I'm sorry, but you all must go home. And then he closed the gates of his factory forever. But Mr. Wonka still makes candy. I can smell them on my way to school. Yes, but no one goes in and no one comes out. Shadow workers. Maybe the undead. Who knows? I'm in. Charlie, we're not seeing anyone done with the newspaper. Okay, Dad. Here you are. Where's your cabbage seat? I thought we were playing gin. <laughs> Uh 
dishes. Nothing for you, Charlie? Not today. I don't want to spoil my appetite. It looks like your appetite could use a little spoiler. Here, have one of these on the house. Really? Thanks. Bye. 
home. Her cousins were going to have something special for supper. Let's see what her cabbage do. <laughs> now that's positive. <laughs>
Mmm, it's so good. A perfect blend of Belgian dark chocolate and New World's light. The subtle overtones of Moroccan espresso. Rock is a genius. He is. Well, I better get to school. Do you think I could have just one more? I'll pay for it. Oh, sure. I'd give you another one, but you know the boss is pretty strict about inventory these days. So, what'll it be? Well, I think I'll take this one home to my family. Grandpa Joe likes the Whipple Scrumptious Marshmallow Delight, but Grandma Josephina likes the Nutterific. Well, then you should get the Whipple Scrumptious Nutterific Totally Twisted Combo Bar. Just now, here. Now, I know you're going to take this one home and give it to your folks and all, but you might want to take a little taste, you know, just to make sure it's not bad. Thanks. Goodbye, Charlie. Well, you know, 
would look like a wood at all. More of a mole. Who would wrap a bunny in <laughs> How you doing, Wonka? Self's the name. And I'm nuts. Nuts for nuts, that is. An operation like this must go through a million nuts. Make that a million and one. Your ticket? No. Oh. <laughs> Violet Bargar. Hi, Yaya. Here's our ticket. Ah, uh, and I'm gonna have to ask you to spit out your gum. What? But you made gum. Violet, Mr. Wonka asked you to remove your gum. Do you need to negotiate? Psycho babble. Whatever. <laughs> Mike TV. Presenting Mr. Mike TV and guests. Uh, hold your panties, those I'm about to win. Here's our ticket, Mr. Wonka. Ah, oh, fantastic. Oh, and Mike, there are no cell phones allowed in my factory. What? None of what <laughs> so ever. <laughs> That's unfair. I don't care if it's unfair, it's a rule. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, fantastic. So, you must be Charlie Bucket. You know, it's an odd coincidence you're finding your ticket just in time. See here, Wonka. You're saying our ticket's a phone. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Mr. Uh... You know me, Wonka. I do? Well then, let's proceed. We'll start with the contract. Raise your right hand. I hereby swear not to touch, malign, assign, clutch, tear, share, or wear none such party of the first part, blah, 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 and so on. Please agree. Now without my lawyer. Let me give him a call. Uh-uh-uh. No cell phones in the factory. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree? Mr. Wonka, how many rooms are in your factory? Ah, that's a good question, Augustus. <laughs> Now, here 
here we are in the chocolate smelting room, where thousands of miles of copper pipe twist through the earth, carefully chilling the chocolate to a precise temperature, perfect for dipping strawberries. Mr. Walker, I want to taste the chocolate, no matter how tempting, and it is deliciously tempting. Do not touch the chocolate. It will instantly harden like cement. Look over that. It's some sort of creature. Freeze. Put your hands in the air where I can see them. <laughs> Punk. No need to worry, my friends. This is an Oompa Loompa. A zombie worker. Not a zombie worker. An Oompa Loompa. All Oompa Loompas are from Loompa Land. Now see here, Wonka. I teach geography and... Then you would know all about Loompa Land, with its horn swabblers and snossy wangers. Oh, and doodle bugs. Doodle bugs? There's no such thing. Oh, there certainly are, my dear. And you best hope you never run into one. Oh. <laughs> now, with millions of people. Ah, ah, Joe! Uh, what is the process? Move! The, the chocolate's frozen. Like a magic shell. He looks like an Easter Bunny. It seems we've had an early revelation and lost a child in the chocolate smelter. It's a shame. The boy really seemed to know a lot about food. <laughs> Alas, take Mrs. Gloop to the strawberry dipping room and heat the boy to precisely 102 degrees Fahrenheit. What? Or is that Celsius? What? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm almost sure it's Fahrenheit. Uh, yes, probably 102 degrees Fahrenheit. But no, I. Or we may spontaneously boil. And that would be a tragedy. <laughs> because Augustus would be damaged? My dear, Augustus was damaged long ago. How dare you? The tragedy would be the wasted chocolate. <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Gluck, and good luck. All right, everyone, if you just follow me this way, we're going to continue our tour.
Voila! The everlasting gourmet gobstopper. It looks like gold. That's because it is gold. <coughs> gold? The most dazzling gum in the world. Gum? Oh no! <laughs> An entire three-course meal without any of those nasty calories. Gold? But we must not chew it as we are been forbidden. <laughs> I only have one dream in life, there's very little to it. I want to give life all gum and all I want to do it. I do it all through childhood, I do it when I win. If I survive till 95, I'll keep it till I'm dead. But this gum here's much better than that one. This gum here is a pretty poor standard.
children gone. Three good little children left. <laughs> always be a blueberry. Very probably. Now, come on. There's so much time and so little to see. Wait, stop that, reverse it. Oh, I almost forgot about this room. It's the busy lifting drink room. Bubbles, do they taste like candy? Mr. Wonka, sweetie, I want bubbles that taste like candy. Actually, bubbles taste like something for children with dirty mouths. The real miracle is what the bubbles do. Just one sip of my fizzy lifting drink and you'll float on air. But we must not try it, as our legal advisors have forbidden me from even letting you take the tiny sip. Now, come on, I've got much more exciting things to show you. Oh my, Mr. Wonka? Kids? They've left us behind. Grandpa Joe, what's that? Try it. Who's there? Who said that? Try it. Should we? I suppose one tiny taste wouldn't do any harm. Whoa! Wow! is why there is no feeling that's quite like the feeling of flying. Bumping your head on the ceiling of what's in the mind. It's so appealing, I'm reeling, and my death
Wonka! Mr. Wonka, what will become of them? We're having every bad nut. This particular suit leads to the incinerator. What? But there's a chance it might not be lit today. A chance? Yeah, but we generally only light it every other day. I can't seem to remember if today's a burn day or not. Oh well, guess we'll find out. Now, <laughs> it's a shame, really. She was so deliciously bossy. A natural <laughs> captain of industry. <laughs> oh well, onward and off, onwards and offwards, upwards and downwards, inwards and outwards. Follow me, people, as we continue our tour. Do what he do. I've got another puzzle for you. Oh, 
to find your way out. What about Charlie's lifetime supply of chocolate? Ah, yes, the chocolate. Each golden ticket winner will receive their chocolate. Other than that, this day's been a total waste of time and chocolate. Goodbye, Mr. Wonka. Good day. Mr. Wonka, wait. I don't deserve a lifetime supply of chocolate. You see, I tasted the fizzy, fizzy lifting drink and I broke the rules. I'm very sorry. Thank you for a wonderful day and tour. It was better than Christmas. Oh, bless you, Charlie! You did it! You did it! I don't understand. I created this contest with one purpose in mind. To find a new person to make new chocolate dreams come true. This was a test of character, Charlie. I carefully selected the rooms that were tempted our golden ticket winners. You did something quite remarkable. You gave the temptation, you were smart enough not to get caught, and yet you admitted your guilt. But the other kids, they all received the booby prize, a lifetime supply of chocolate. If that's a booby prize, what's the real prize? Charlie, do you love my factory? It's the most wonderful place in the world. I'm really glad to hear you say that, Charlie, because from this moment on, it's yours. What do you mean? I'm giving you my factory, Charlie. I need an heir, and that person is you. I'd love to. I'd positively love to.
we wanted to thank Mrs. Zuckman for helping us. She's our musical director. And we wouldn't really have, this wouldn't be a musical without you. We wouldn't have any music, so thank you so much.